Mother Nature, designer of all the things you see and all the things you are. For millions of years, Father Time and I have worked hand in hand to make the world a better place to live in. All things considered, we think we've done fairly well. We have made our mistakes. There was one about 10,000 years ago when we tried a topsy-turvy experiment with the human race. At that time, in a village called Wongo, we made all the women beautiful and all the men brutes. We put all the handsome men in the tribe of Guna, many days' march to the south. And we made the Guna girls, well, not beautiful. It didn't work. Why? <coughs> the wild women of Wongo. God. The maidens of Wongo are ready for marriage. I come to ask you and the god to receive them. We will ask the great dragon.
Every one. All of you. brings you the kill. It is good. His father will buy you tonight. Hako takes his kill to Omu. <laughs> My father buys Omu for me tonight. the wing of the white bird of peace. Oh, this is like a dream I've had. I never could have dreamed of a man like that. Are you certain it's a man? I have a feeling that makes me certain. I come to speak the words of my father, King of Guna. We will hear the words of the King of Guna. Sit. Have you eaten? No, I am hungry. Bring food. We 
hear the words from the king of Guna. My father has fear. Fear? What gives him fear? We will both take it. I will take it. I will take it. You do not yet give orders to the king's daughter, Uncle. The tribe of many men come in big canoes, bringing war to the coast. seen a woman like this before. She is like any other. She is not like those in Guna. Give him the food. In Wongo, you do not touch a maiden who is not yours. Omu, go! Now give us the words from the king of Guna. There is a strange tribe of men. Some say they are like apes. From where do the ape men come? From the sea. No men live in the sea. These people have big canoes. They come by night. Next day they have gone, leaving many dead. We have seen no ape men. We have heard of no ape men. You know these things now. I have given you my father's words. Why does the king of Guna wish us to know these things? My father fears the ape men will come to Guna. Wongo does not fear. King of Wongo, the ape men will come, if not today, at some time. We do not fear. My father wishes you and all of Wongo to come to the village of Guna. There is much food. You have brave young men, and so have we. It is true. Our men are brave. With your men and our men, we can kill the ape men. Are there many like you in Guna? Are you the strongest? I came because I am my father's son, to bring his word. Many in Guna are stronger than I. Do all the men of Guna also have women's skins? <laughs> <laughs> if the young man thinks he can puncture my skin, he may try. He is young. Perhaps a little foolish this day with love. Do you have more words from your father, the king of Guna? Only that your journey there should be taken quickly. We will give you the words for your father tomorrow. Uncle, the stranger tonight will sleep in the hut of the young men. If harm comes to him, we will have your life. You have commanded. such a man as that once in my youth, in the forest. I killed him. Good. We will talk. Will he stay in Wongo, do you think? If I can find a way to keep him, what way can there be? I know a way. Don't even say that. The dragon god will be angry. I would keep him, even if that happened. You have seen our foolish women. We have all seen. We have been shamed. The women have shamed us before this man with a woman's skin. But a man's body. We do not have women's faces, and I would not want one. We are men, and if we went to Guna, we should find our women running after men like him. As for me, I had rather fight ape men. I have seen no ape men. Do we know that there are ape men? I do not know it. This is a trick. If the king of Guna wanted our women, how could he get them more easily than to send his son with some wild story to get them to his village? And we ourselves die there under Guna's spears. That would be easy. Does anyone disagree? Oh, king? 
Do we go to Guna? We do not go. That will be our answer. If we do not go, we do not have to send any words at all. If this man leaves here alive, our foolish women will never forget him. That's true. Uh, they'll dream. Dream. You speak words of wisdom, but I have given my word that no harm shall come to him tonight. It would be better done in the morning, when the maidens stand ready to go to the temple. Then they shall see him die and never forget that he is dead. That is wise. Is it agreed? Agreed. 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 I do not like to kill a man who comes with a white bird's wing. With this man, it must be. In the morning, let us eat. Quack, 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 quack. Hey, shoot, John. Shoot, John. Why did the stranger come, Father? He brought words from his father, the king of Guna. Well, his father is a king. So he tells us. I suppose Arco's father means to ask for me tonight. I expect him. You will give me to Arco? Of course. Father. Yes? It's unmaidenly for me to say it. What? His father is, after all, a king. Could you not arrange to give me to the stranger? What? Marriage to a stranger is treason to your people, a sacrilege to the gods, and it's just cause for death. Well, women have been carried away in war and married to strangers, even against their wills, and have not died. Not women of Wongo. Go inside, and do not come out again until the morning, when you and the maidens go to the temple of the dragon god. bag? It is nothing. It contains only the finest shells that I've been able to gather in a long life. My daughter is hardly worth so much. She is worth much more, but this is all I have. Will you accept them? I am happy to accept them for my daughter. Your son, Akko, is good. Akko will build your daughter a hut before she returns from the temple. I'm sure Akko will build a good hut. I am made proud by the marriage of my son to a king's daughter. The God has given me no son. You are second in Wongo. It suits me well that your son and my daughter will rule someday. They will rule well. I ask a favor. I grant it without knowing what it is. In the morning, let it be my son, Akko, whose spear is chosen to kill the stranger. That is good. It was Omu he touched. And now she is your son's woman. <laughs> Move. They call you that. 
I like it. I have never seen a woman like you. What is a woman like in Guna? They are like your Wango men. I will never be able to look at them again. I've dreamed of a man like you. I never thought it would come true. I am the same as the others in Guna. I've seen only you. And I'm happy. Protector of Wongo, once more we send our maidens to your temple to prepare them for marriage to our young men. Purify them, make them worthy, and return them to us within one moon. There he is. He's beautiful, like the sun. Look, he's trying to pick out all Return our maidens to us, O dragon god of Wongo. I'm going to kill him more now. No. Yes, it's planned. I overheard. But Otto's going to throw the spear. Oh. No. no. Will you try to help me save him? Tell us how. King of Wongo, it is far to my father's house. I return now. What is your answer to the king of Guna? Our answer is, we will not desert the ancient village of our fathers. I will carry your words now. But perhaps I may return. God, this day you have been insulted by the maidens of Wongo, and woe to the village. Now they must leave us without our prayers for their protection. Never has this happened before. Payment for this sacrilege to the God must be made in blood. And when the God has taken blood, and not until then, whether it be one moon or ten, may the maidens return. Each night, one maiden shall wait alone, a sacrifice if the god comes. Go! Oh, 
on you every turn. I am happy to be back in Guna. The King of Wanga received you well? They tried to kill me with a spear as I departed. You well, carried what, the white bird scared. wing? Did you kill their spearmen? I was saved. I was saved by the women of Wongo. The women? They are very unusual women, oh, my father. And very brave. You are shamed. I am alive. It is good. What about the girl? Mm. Look at those fools. Wongo women, indeed. What do you mean unusual? Very unusual. Wahoo!
hill, we can go back to Wango. I'm glad it was almost. No hunger because it's Mona's turn to wait for the god tonight. It is not that. I simply have no hunger. Because you fear the god. Don't worry. Perhaps the god is more particular than you think. Yes, I'm sure he's particular. You have awaited the god twice, and he has not come to seek you any more than a man ever has. Be still, Auntie. You deserve what Mona says. <laughs> We must remain here until the god takes blood. It is the king's command. We have waited twice around our numbers, and none has been chosen. Tonight, Mona will keep the vigil for us all. If she is chosen, may she go with him without fear and without pain. Without fear, without pain. If the great dragon comes and she escapes him, this she may do. For if he really comes in the name of the god, none may escape. None may escape. I am ready. I will walk with her to the place of waiting. If you call, I will come, but you must be awake to know in time. I'll stay awake. How? I will think. Think? What? I'll think of a man. Man of Wongo? No. Oh, wasn't he wonderful? There never was one like him. Lee said that in Guna, where his father is king, all men are like him. It cannot be true. I believe. If Ingor said it, then it must be true. I'll try to imagine it can be true. That will keep me awake. I will stay awake in the same way, with my spear ready in case you should call. I will call if I must. Good night. Good night, Mona.
have come. The evil men Ingo came to tell us about. They're going to Wongo. But they might have been to Wongo already. We'll go there. But we can't go. The god has not taken a bride. The king did not say we must remain until the god took a bride. He said we could not return until the insults of the god had been paid in blood. The god has taken the ape men. The blood of the ape men is paid. I fear for Wongo. Let us go home. No. I fear the night with eight men in canoes. Let's wait until dawn. They're gone. They're all gone. Well, perhaps they're still hiding. Oh, hush. You'll call the ape men back. I mourn my father. Wally is right. Although my father was the king of Wongo, I am his daughter. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Oh, help me. Wanna make a fire. I'll help. I'll get water. There's no hurry. He's dead. We'll bury him. of your business. Omu put you on watch. Who stands guard down at the stream? Omu? Omu's no king. 
The canoe came by and I rode in it because I was hungry. If Omu wants a watch kept, she can keep it herself. Auntie is off her post. <coughs> Omo to tell us what to do. I'm tired of that. We've been here longer than one moon, and Omo says, do this and do that, and all of you jump. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do, and nobody can make me. And I'm not going to stand and watch. The eight men will come. Oh, the eight men come. Our own men are never coming back. Do you want to live here the rest of your life without any men at all? Wouldn't be like you. Shut up! men in Wango than live all her life with no men at all. She said, you are no king. She must die. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her! Kill her. Kill her. I am no king. We have no men and our young hunters will never return. Archie deserves to die, but she is right. He did not want to live and to grow old and die without men. Wongo is ended. Tomorrow we leave Wongo. We can't leave. Where can we go? We'll go south. South? To Guna. Nobody. Where did they go? I do not know. It must be the eight men came. I do not like it here. This is our home. No. Wango stands here, but it is not home. It is gone. Are we to stay with only ghosts? We have searched the forest. We have been to the temple. We have found no one. Our women were taken by the eight men. Our hearts are heavy, but our village is here. Let us rest. Let us not stay here. Follow the words of Angor. Go south to Guna. We would not be welcome. I threw a spear at Angor. We tried to kill him. Angor came to ask for our spears to defend his village. Let us go there. There are women in Guna. If the men of Guna fight, we will go on, but not back to Wango. Yes. We go south. So let it be. of Guna, like your fathers forever since the beginning, you go now into the forest with empty hands. For the space of one moon, you must live in the forest without weapons to prove you are men, like your fathers. 
in this time. It is the law of our gods that you speak to no woman. Return, hunters of Guna, when the moon is full again. Then the maidens of Guna will await you with the marriage feast. <laughs> These women are from Guna, I'm sure. No, no, unless the eight men live in Guna. Well, I'll ask them if it is Guna. Do you dare go? Guard me with your spears. Good day, sisters of Guna. I come in peace. Then go in peace. Well, I come with my sisters to beg food and safe shelter. The ape men have destroyed our village. You come from Wongo. How did you know? We have heard of the Wongo women. Mona? Mona? You come in peace with spears. We are attacked. Ah! You'll be our scout. Keep silent. Any more at home like you? Hey, water looks good. Let's go. What are you doing here? Well, I was hoping we'd see you. So, Wongo has come to Guna after all. Where are your friendly men? There isn't any Wongo. The eight men took it. There are no more men. Come out and we'll cook your meal. We cannot eat with you. We should not even talk with you. Why not? We are in the forest for the space of one moon. 
All the young men of Guna. We are without weapons. We cannot see any women. When we have proved that we are men like our fathers, we may return to Guna and take our mates. The women we saw? Mates? Naturally. The Guna women. Look at us. Don't you like us? Would you not rather have us for mates? We can all go back to Wango. I am a man of Guna. One day I will be king. If Wongo is no more, you may come to Guna. We'll meet you there. We've met your Guna women, and they would have killed us. It would mean death for us to go there. You must go away. We should not have talked with you at all. What do we do now? And if they won't even speak to us, how are we going to persuade them? Why can't we get them to go with us? But they're men. Well, that's what we came here for, wasn't it? Did you say that all the young men were in the forest? And they have no spears? I told you that. Now go. <laughs> of slaves, for that something will happen to you. When it does, you will know why. If we had fear, we'd have crawled on our stomachs to the women of Guna. We have no fear. You have forgotten. You are only a woman. You do not understand men. We think we understand men quite well. <laughs> these women of Wongo. This one's mine. He's cute. Thank you. 
you catch anything but rabbits? Very poorly seasoned, too. <laughs> no salt. Nothing like the Guna women cook. After all, there's only one Guna. The rest of the world is solid barbarian. You'll have a long time to cook meat to your taste when we get back to Wongo. You'll do it yourself, under the whip. You're laying up troubles for yourself, girl. The four days I spent tied up here will take a lot of time getting over. We're taking you to the temple of Wongo to present you to the dragon god. It's a five-day march. You may speak to each other if you like. Well, haven't you anything to say? Not now. Later, you will hear something that may surprise you. Ready? March! Come to the temple with the men who shall be our mates. If these are your mates, why are they bound like slaves? We dare not unbind them. They would flee to Guna, and there would be none to worship the dragon god. Unbind their necks. We have come to present our mates to the dragon god. Leave your spears. Let them enter. men of Wango thought our women were taken by the ape-men. We have found others. We have come to present them to the dragon god. Your father chose Omu for your mate. How do you answer to that? I will answer. Omu is mine. So be 
Bridge. 